Okay. Finally, here's a video that shows you how to deal with this kind of ratio problems. Ratio problems. We are using a thing called Eureka Math. And we are given a table where we're told that for every eight pounds of water, you're going to add 60 pounds of dry mix. So the ratio from water to mix is eight to 60. Now, of course, we could simplify this. Common factor between eight and 60, I think four goes into eight two times, and four goes into 60 15 times. So it's gonna be two to the 15. Two to 15 ratio. In this case, they want to know if you were to add, well, let's find out, is this truly 10, uh, two to 15 ratio? Here's the water of 10 pounds. Here's a dry mix of 75 pounds. Is that two to 15 ratio? Well, to find that, let's just say that the water is 10. And let's say the dry mix, even though it says over here 75, let's pretend we don't know to confirm that it is in fact 75. So if you were to do a cross multiplication, starting with the X, that becomes two times X, two X, and 15 times 10 is 15 with a zero. So if I solve for X by dividing two, the coefficient to both sides of the equation, the two is on the left side, they simplify to a one, and two goes into 150, 75 times, and voila, there's your 75. So this is in fact two to 15 ratio. And here, the total pounds, if you add them, they become 85 pounds total. So that one's an easy one, and that's where we start. In this case, we don't have the total pounds, but we do not have a dry mix. 8 to 10 right there, right? So that's 8 is to, I don't know, and 10 is to 75. Because 10 to the 75 is same as 2 to the 15, we just proven, right? See? 10 to the 75, which is 75, right there. So we're gonna use that ratio and cross multiply. X times 10 is 10X, and eight times 75, so 75 times eight, that's gonna give me 600. Oh my goodness, this is easy. So divide both sides by the coefficient 10. Let me raise that up right there, see? And then X is going to, well, one goes into six, six times, 60 times. Because look, see? So now that's gonna be 60. And if this, if the dry mix is 60, and if I add them together, that's gonna become 68. So that's not too bad. Now here's the humdinger. This is where all the kids are starting to like, I don't get it. Quick stop, med shop, help. So since we use the ratio going this away, now let's use it that away. What I mean is this. Here's the water is two total pounds. You could do that? Let's see if we could. Well, first of all, is 10 to 85, 215 ratio. Let's see. 10, 85 is to 2 to the x. If that x comes out to be 15, that means 10 to the 85 is also 2 to the 15 ratio. Let's see. Cross multiply, 10 times x is 10x. Double the 85, so that's like saying 80 and 80 is 160 plus 10 is 170. So we're going to divide the 10, and x is going to become, oh, look at that, 17, which is good. Why? because this was a ratio of two to 15, and 15 plus two was 17. Remember? That was a little weird, wasn't it? So the ratio still works. So let's go ahead and figure out this ratio now. So here we go. So 10 is to 85, 10 is to 85, and x, is to 14 and 1 6. Hey, uh, what's up with the fraction in a denominator? Don't worry, check this out. Let's just go ahead and do the cross multiplication starting with the x. So 85 times x is 85x. And 10 times 14 and 1 6. Look at this over here. Let me raise this up even more. 
10 times 14 and 1 sixth. Let's make that into an improper fraction. 14 times 6, you know, is 84. And 84 plus the numerator is going to become 85 over 6. Okay? And let's go ahead and cross multiply. Oh, let's put a 1 underneath this thing. Is that okay? All right. Now, 6 does not go into 10 evenly, but there is a common factor between them, which is 3. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 3 goes into 10. Nope. <laughs> I meant 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 10 5 times. Phew! And now let's multiply across. 5 times 85. So 85 times 5 is going to be 425 over 2. And 425... Oh, here it is. 425 over 2. Two. Now I'm going to solve for x by getting rid of the 85 coefficient. And to do that, I'm going to do the inverse of multiply because it says 85 times x. So I'm going to multiply the reciprocal of 85, which is 1 over 85. And whatever I do to one side, I do it to the other. You might want to rewind and play this over and over <laughs> until you get this one. <laughs> so here, whenever you multiply the reciprocal, everything simplifies to become a 1, 1x, or simply x. And now, let's see. I hope that 85 goes into 425 a certain number of times. So I have 425 here already, divided by 85. Please, 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 please. Boom! 5! So that becomes 5 over 2. See that? And so, this is going to become water is 5 over 2. Now, since I'm going to add the dry mix with the water, which will become this total, all I have to do is minus it. <laughs> is that a proper word? Minus it? Okay, so let's try that. So I'm going to go 14 and 1 over 6 minus 5 over 2. This is the total. This is the water. And when I, whatever I get, this will be the dry mix. You see what I'm doing? Otherwise, you could do ratios and proportion here as well. Let that be an x, and you could cross multiply. But let's just do this one first. Let's make this improper fraction. 14 times 6 is what, 84? Let's see, 14 times 6 is 84, plus the numerator 1 is 85, over 6 minus 5 over 2. And now, the common denominator is a 6, so I'm going to multiply 3 to this denominator as well as a numerator. That's like saying 85 minus 15. 85 minus 15 is going to be 70 over 6. There is a common factor of a 2 here, so I'm going to reduce it. 70 divided by 2 is 35. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And now to give me some idea, let's make this into mixed number now. 3 goes into 35 11 times and 2 thirds. And that's going to become the dry mix. So 11 and 2 thirds. And since we did it backwards, I don't want to go forwards again. Here's a dry mix. Here's a water. When you add them, it's going to become 14 and 1 6. Ta-da! The rest, you can do that on your own.